Right friends, welcome back to 23rd week, part 1 of question and answer series. This week starts from 1st June to 7th June. We are going to discuss various uh, questions and answers related to this week. Let us look at the first question. A ship carrying more than 450 people sank in China when it was go traveling from Nanjing to Chongqing. From Nanjing to Chongqing. Name the river. The river is Yangtze River. What is the meaning of cruise? What is the meaning of cruise ship? The meaning of a cruise ship is for pleasure trip, people take the route of rivers. People travel by rivers for pleasure that is known as a cruise ships. Here one such a cruise ship sank in Yangtze River recently and more than 400 people unfortunately lost their lives when ship sank. The name of the ship is Eastern Star Cruise Ship and it sank in Yangtze River and I would like to tell you few things about Yangtze River. Yangtze River is the third longest river in the world and the longest in Asia. Yangtze River is the longest river in Asia and the third longest river in the world after Nile and Amazon. Don't forget Nile River flows through Egypt into Mediterranean Sea whereas Amazon River flows through Brazil into Atlantic Ocean and here this river Yangtze River originates in Kingoid Tibet Plateau region and finally flows into East China Sea after flowing for 6,300 kilometers. It is the longest river in Asia and unfortunate incident of Eastern Star cruise ship occurred in this river. Right friends, look into the next question. Six people, this is unfortunate incident again. Six people from South Korea died due to MERS. MERS is a Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. It is caused due to coronavirus and it belongs to the same family as common cold or SARS. SARS means Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome and this disease, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, also belongs to the same group and caused by coronavirus. And this disease first detected in Saudi Arabia and now this spread to South Korea and schools and colleges were also closed and six people lost their lives and several people got infected. And about the disease, we are going to discuss in the lecture part about the disease and its origin in the lecture part. Right friends, look into the next one. Name the country which asked the United Nations humanitarian coordinator Toby Lanzer to leave the country. United Nations humanitarian coordinator. Why humanitarian coordinator is stationed in South Sudan? South Sudan is the youngest country in the world. It was formed in the year 2011. After several years of a civil war, which displaced almost 20 lakh people internally, South Sudan was established in the year 2011. And several people were internally displaced and it got separated from Sudan. Sudan is basically, that means the North Sudan or the present day Sudan is basically Muslim dominated country and the South Sudan is basically Christian dominated country. North Sudan or the present day Sudan is Muslim dominated country and the South Sudan is Christian dominated country and South Sudan was formed in the year 2011 and lot of humanitarian assistance is required because 20 lakh people were internally displaced due to civil strife in the country and now 
the government in south sudan wants all the aid organizations of other countries including united nations to leave the country and as such it gave instructions for the united nations mission to leave the country from south sudan and the representative says that still 3 lakh people require humanitarian assistance in south sudan right friends look into the next one solar impulse aircraft abound its marathon journey from nanjing in china to hawaii islands to cross pacific ocean and landed in nagoya nagoya is in japan nagoya is in japan this solar impulse aircraft too started its journey with the intention of going around the world going around the globe it started with that intention it took off from abu dhabi then landed in muscat airport from muscat it landed in ahmedabad ahmedabad to varanasi varanasi to mandalay mandalay to chongqing then chongqing to nanjing then the problem started when it tried to take off from nanjing airport because the distance between nanjing airport and hawaii islands is around 8000 kilometers distance between nanjing and hawaii islands is around 8000 kilometers and it requires at least 5 to 6 days of continuous journey and finally it landed in japan that is nagoya airport and it is at to take off from nagoya airport and the distance to cross pacific ocean is quite large and so far single journey of this aircraft has not crossed 2000 kilometers single journey has not crossed 2000 kilometers because it cannot fly at speeds more than 140 kilometers per hour right under these circumstances going from nagoya in japan to hawaii islands is the real challenge for solar impulse aircraft look into the next one world's biggest chip maker that is intel all of you are well aware about intel agreed to buy altera the deal involves the answer here is 16.7 billion dollars intel is the chip manufacturer in servers and altera is the chip manufacturer in cars and phones right intel is the chip manufacturer basically in servers and altera is the chip manufacturer in cars and phones so now intel purchased altera for 16.7 billion dollars look into this question henna hotel will be opened in the city of sasebo with 10 life like robots name the country 10 robots will be established in that hotel that hotel is a 72 room hotel and that hotel will function with 10 robots and the country we are talking about is japan and this city of sasebo is situated in japan and 10 robots are going to be introduced there which shows the days ahead and 10 robots will man several important places including the reception in the hotel right friends look into the next question every year dog meat festival is held in yulin where an estimated 10000 dogs are cooked and eaten name the country this the yulin dog meat festival this is being held every year yulin dog meat festival is being held every year and the festival is in china and every year thousands of dogs will be killed and meat will be prepared and people will celebrate that festival and environmentalists expressed their concern on this aspect in recent times 
Look into the next question. The recent problem of uh, Takata airbags is suspected to have been due to. We have learned in the previous classes uh, Takata airbags. They are manufactured by Japan company and installed in several cars across the world. Because of the problems in Takata airbags, several people lost their lives and the basic problem of this uh, Takata airbags uh, is due to ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate fails due to excessive heat and humidity. The failure of Takata airbags was uh, primarily identified due to the failure of uh, ammonium nitrate uh, due to excessive heat and humidity. Look into the next question. Name the country where six senior central bank officials were arrested over an alleged 33 million dollar currency fraud. This 33 million dollar currency fraud occurred in Nigeria. Nigeria is the most populous country of Africa and because of this fraud, six senior central bank officials were arrested recently. Right friends, look into the next one. Name the country in whose capital city smoking was banned in public. The capital city of China, Beijing, smoking is banned in public, public places, restaurants, it was banned. Smoking is quite prevalent in the male citizens of China, around 300 million people smoke regularly. China consumes almost one third of the world's cigarettes. In China, smoking is considered to be a masculine trait. Almost one million people lose their lives every year. Under these circumstances, China decided to ban smoking in public in its capital, starting with capital that is Beijing. Recently, China banned smoking. Right friends, look into the next one. Name the state which celebrated its first year of formation on June 2. The youngest state of Indian Union that is Telangana which was formed last year on June 2nd. Now, Telangana celebrated its first year of its formation on grand scale and the advantage for Telangana is the capital city is with it not like Jharkhand or Chhattisgarh or Uttarakhand which were formed few years back. Now, Telangana is the 29th or the youngest state with the capital city of Hyderabad and it celebrated the first year formation day celebrations on a grand scale across Telangana. Right friends, look into the next one, name the state government which decided to file an appeal against the verdict of the High Court in Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jailalitha's disproportionate assets case. Recently, all of you are well aware in Jailalitha's disproportionate assets case Karnataka High Court gave clean chit and now Karnataka government decided to appeal against the verdict of the High Court in Supreme Court. Right friends, Amina Gurib Fakim will be the first woman president of Mauritius. Where is Mauritius? Mauritius is a Indian Ocean nation that is around 2000 kilometers away from southeast coast of Africa. Several Indian origin people are there and now it got its first woman president Amina Garib Fakim will be the first woman president of Mauritius. Famous scientist and biologist 56 year old Amina Garib Fakim will be the first woman president of Mauritius. Friends, look into the next one. 41 people were charged sheeted, including the owner of Rana Plaza factory after the collapse killed more than 1100 people in 2013. The incident occurred in Bangladesh. In Bangladesh in the year 2013, one of the worst accidents occurred where more than 1100 people lost their lives in the Rana Plaza factory. That factory, government factory, 
actually was meant for office space that building was not designed to act as government factory it was designed for office space subsequently government factory came in that place and because of the government factory that building collapsed because it was not designed for factory the building collapsed and ultimately more than 1100 people lost their lives and 41 people were charged cheated in this case and this rana plaza factory case was one of the worst accidents of its kind in the world right friends look into the next one the maximum limit for resident individuals for making foreign currency remittances abroad a resident individual we have discussed several times what is meant by resident individual if you are staying in the country for more than 6 months you are considered as a resident individuals please don't forget so many other conditions are also there i am not going into detail if you are resident individual then you can remit money abroad up to the maximum limit of 2 lakh 50000 dollars per annum if you want to purchase some house if you want to do anything abroad any individual can remit rupees 2 lakh 50000 dollars per annum abroad please don't forget right you cannot exceed this limit right friends look into the next one core industries output shrank by 0.4% in april government talks about the gdp figures of 7.3% during 2014-15 and 7.5% during the last quarter and core industries is a growth that is not matching with gdp figures core industries i have already listed these core industries coal crude oil natural gas refinery products then fertilizers steel cement and electricity these eight are called core industries they constitute total of 38% in the index of industrial production in the total index of industrial production the core industries constitute 38% so 0.4% negative growth shrinking means they are not growing they are reducing in comparison to last year the core industries output shrank by 0.4% in april this is not expected in a developing country like india right look into the next one nestle is the multinational giant of uh, switzerland it is in the news about its uh, maggi products we have already discussed in the lecture part nestle is the one of the leading food and beverages companies in the world and it was established in the year 1905 in switzerland right friends look into the next one as stated by the external affairs minister the prime minister is going to visit israel for the first time by any indian prime minister so far no prime minister visited israel and recently external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj stated that the prime minister will visit Israel first by any prime minister from India right look into the next one name the city where metro services were launched on 3rd june now jaipur is into the metro map first metro line was opened inaugurated by the chief minister the line runs from manasarovar to chandpol and jaipur is into the metro map please don't forget look into the next one nine employees of a charity organization people in need were shot dead in afghanistan that shows the law and order situation prevalent in afghanistan after the exit of nato forces the charity organization belongs to Czechoslovakia recently nine people pertaining to this charity organization people in need were shot dead and this charity organization belongs to Czechoslovakia look into the next one it is proposed to move 1 lakh people to new homes so as to douse the underground coal mine fires that have been burning for almost a century underground 
coal mine fires were raging for several years government could not able to douse those fires as per one estimate 37 million tons of coal was burnt during the past century 37 million tons of coal was burnt and at the same time it blocked access to 2 billion tons of coal deposits because of the burning of the coal people could not get access to 2 billion tons of coal and the area we are talking about is jharia in jharkhand jharia coal mines in jharkhand where the top quality coal is available right government wants to vacate 1 lakh people roughly that means they can have a free hand to douse the fire in coal mines so that further coal mines can be accessed if that fire is doused because 37 million tons of coal was burnt down during the past century look into the next one friends a bill is expected to be brought in winter session of parliament to develop an additional 101 inland waterways inland waterways means where transport will take place by water through waterways through waterways goods transport or freight transport will take place at present we are transporting goods by either train or by roads in trucks water transport causes the less pollution at the same time it is cheap if you look at countries like china korea japan almost 30 to 40% of freight is moved by waterways but in our country freight movement by waterways is totally insignificant and government wants to bring a bill in winter session of parliament to develop additional 101 waterways friends look into the next one nearly 600 professionals cycle to work which is popularly known as c2w program on world environment day on 5th june world environment day all of you are well aware is celebrated on 5th june the tagline for this year please don't forget the seven billion dreams one planet consume with care and on this world environment day on june 5th 600 professionals in the city of mumbai cycle to work leaving their cars right friends Moho is the birthplace of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Moho is situated near Indore in Madhya Pradesh, and M H O W, the spelling of Moho city, stands for Military Headquarters of War. M H O W stands for Military Headquarters of War, and subsequently this town was renamed as Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Nagar. Right, friends? Government is planning. 125th birth anniversary celebrations of Bharat Ratna B R Ambedkar in a big way please don't forget look into the next one Rita Tiotia appointed the commerce secretary whereas Pradeep Kumar Pujari appointed the secretary for power because the power secretary became the cabinet secretary these two officers Rita Tiotia and Pradeep Kumar Pujari belongs to Gujarat cadre IAS officers look into the next one name the telecom operator which offered free national roaming from june 15th the telecom operator which offered free roaming services from june 15th is none other than bsnl bharat sanchar nigam limited look into the last question of uh, this uh, question and answer part us based world justice uh, project released rule of law index 2015 after analyzing 102 countries United States based World Justice Project released the Rule of Law Index and after analyzing 102 countries it prepared the list and here India stands at 59th position and please look into this the first three positions are held by Denmark Norway and Sweden right friends let us find the first session of question and answers please do join for second session of question and answers Have a nice day thank you